how my mother, wonderful woman, her name is Judith Lowe, she has been a principal of a childcare centre, her own business by the way, which she has been running for many many years, since even before I was born. So you can only imagine, right, me growing up with a principal of a mother who was very very strict with myself and my brother. She's the reason why I am who I am today. So in a way, in retrospect now, in hindsight, I kind of thank her for being very strict. If, I mean, who knows what I would be doing now, right? I mean, I could be a gangster, even though I kind of look kind of gangster sometimes. But I mean, my mom has worked very, very hard. She still works very, very hard throughout her life. I mean, bring myself and my brother up. I think the one thing that I really want to do for her that I think would make her happy is maybe take her on a, on a holiday. I know my mom loves to travel. And growing up, when she had to take care of us and all that, she didn't really get to travel much, of course, with two kids, right? Now, maybe you want to, if I can, I want to take her on a nice long holiday. I think my mom deserves it. Yeah, it's true that Asian people don't really, we're not very, you know, open with our feelings or emotions or whatever. But I guess maybe, maybe I don't tell my mom that I love her, you know. So maybe I should give her more hugs and I should tell you, mom, that I love you more. Mom, thank you so much for bringing me up and making me the man that I am today. Um, I don't think I would be you know, who I am without your guidance and you know, your love and your care and all the other sappy stuff, oh my god, I'm about to cry. Um, all these years of me growing up. So thank you mom, happy Mother's Day, I love you very much. As a single mom, I didn't have much of a dad. Um, and she was very strict. It was a mom that made sure everything was okay. She was a mom that kept it together. She would never show me that she was in trouble or she needed help or whatever. She was always strong for me. She was like a mom and a dad in this moment. There are times when things get hard and you want somebody who will guide you or help you and you don't have that. So that's one of the things that I really miss. Or like something as simple as like a, a hug if you're sick. That's one of the things that I feel as if like, you know, oh, I wish my mom was here. She always used to tell me that you, know, you needed to be independent. Uh, you needed to be able to control your own life instead of um, hanging on to somebody else's for the sake of your happiness. So whatever you wanted in life, if you know you wanted this job or a new car or whatever it might be, it's up to you to get. It. Like you don't count on anybody else. So my mom made it clear, especially with her divorce, that you know it was just you. Whatever else happens to you is is cool. It's like a bonus. But as long as you're okay, then you're good, you know, like, so she taught me to go for my goals, my dreams, and she taught me to strive. If my mom was here, um, I suppose I would ask her um, if she was proud, if she would be happy, and um, I'd probably ask her if she could stay too, because that's probably one of the things that I really wish that I had right now, like, there's nothing else in the world I would rather than to have something. Last time I saw my mom was about three years ago. And before that, it was about five years ago. So within a span of eight years, I only saw my mom twice. I get a bit jealous sometimes because I get invited to my friend's house and stuff. And there's nothing like tasting your mom's home cooked meal. Like, there's a really big difference. Like, moms cook with love. Um, yeah, it reminds me of my mom a lot. Everybody goes through hard times and very like and different situations that could change you for the worse. And in a way, a divorce can actually change your kid for the worse. But you have to understand that there was always a lesson to be learned. And uh, so, what I thank my mom for was uh, thanks for showing me how to be a man, an adult. If your parents are going through a very tough time. Don't blame them. You know, uh, it's. It's not their fault, it's just they're in certain circumstances where sometimes even them, they, they themselves, they can't control it. Mom, happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much for being there for me and thank you for letting me be on this earth. You know, it's very, it's very, very cool that you did that. You're a very cool mom. She's been there for me since day one. She's incredibly supportive, incredibly biased as well, but she's always been there for me. You know, she listens to the show, she watches anything I do, and um, she's always there. She's always a phone call away. Uh, she lives in Sarawak, I live over here, but I still get to see and, and speak to her almost every single week. My mom is not one of those moms who, you know, really shows her anger or gets really, really mad. She has that disappointed face, which for me, 
is like the silent killer because she goes from like a smiley face to uh, I'd like to hope when I speak to her on the phone or whenever I do something funny on, on, on videos or, or on the radio um, but honestly every time we catch up we have good laughs well we, we don't get to see each other too often so every time we do we try to just chill out and have a good time in whatever we're doing I want to make a big shout out to my mom. Happy Mother's Day, mumsies. And obviously to all mums out there because it's a very special day. Make sure, this is what I do generally, if I'm with my mum on a Mother's Day, is I make her breakfast in the morning. So remember, make your breakfast, make your mum some breakfast in the morning and it'll go a long, long way. So to all mums out there, including mine, because she is the best mum out there. Mum is like, I would say like pretty much every other Asian mum. She can be very fierce if she doesn't know you. You know, someone she got two daughters only, right? But uh, if you know her, and especially if you know how to speak Hokkien, right? Foo, my mom will be best friends with you. <laughs> my mom will be very happy if I clean my room. That's my mom very easy to please, right? as long as I clean my room. But that's the hard part, you see. Cleaning my room is a nightmare. <laughs> Last time I made her angry was probably just yesterday. Oh no, no, yesterday she was in a good mood. Maybe a few days ago for not cleaning my room. <laughs> I love my mom because she is an amazing cook. I think every, everyone would say their mom's an amazing cook. My mom is an amazing cook though, like really, really, really. My mom's from Penang and she's got a Nonia side. Can you imagine the food she cooks? It's so good. You know, if you ever want to like, have Penang Nonia food, my mom would always invite my friends over. Come, come, eat, eat, eat. That's my mom. You know, she would come over, eat, 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 eat. Every auntie is the same, I think. <laughs> Mom, um, I know we don't say I love you as much at home because it's kind of weird too, but I'm going to say it right now. I love you, Mommy! Mm -hmm. And Happy Mother's Day to every mom's there.